over the years, Ford has tried to uh, fix the issue by going to bigger, better sensors. And this was the original design. And then they went something like this, but it had a curved bottom. And now they went to this one, which is a rectangle, and it's nice and thick. And these ones is the, are the final design that they've uh, settled on that has seemed to fix the issue. Now in changing the sensor, they want you to heat up the uh, screw where it goes into the throttle by itself because they put an overly abundant amount of uh, Loctite on there. So they usually break off coming out. So they want you to heat it up, propane, something that's a lower uh, heat. And you just want to heat it up right there, just a little bit. And then use an impact of sorts. And don't stop. And you should be able to get it out. You can see the Loctite on there. Usually they put even more than that on there. And you can see how thin this screw is. This little torque screw. And that's why they break. Try it again on this side. Just get it warm and it'll start softening the Loctite. Don't need going further than that. Let's try it again. So the old one just pulls off like that, and there's no adjustment like the old TP sensors of back in the day. See, so just bolt the new one on, the new design, put your two bolts back in, put a little Loctite on, and snug them down. That's all there is to that.